morning, everybody. This is Sharon Pearson reporting live to let everyone know that we are about to go live on Philly Hot Radio. Whistle while you work. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Along with my coach, Dr. Rock, do it every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. Oh, good morning, good morning. Uh, this is Philly Hot Radio. Whistle while you work. So along with the guest co-host Sharon Pearson. Hey everybody. So Sharon, how was your week this week, Sharon? Well, I don't even know where to begin. My week was crazy. Of course, you know, I always had my SEPTA shenanigans. <laughs> so that that was just I, I can't even go into it on live <laughs> radio, but it was quite interesting. <laughs> well, what I want to say is happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Um, I know the ones who had their sweeties, who does any single person, think about this. If you're single, remember, God loves you. And you know, your man is God, you know, because God is there for all of us and he is a provider. So, remember that. I, I had a good Valentine's yeah, Day. You did? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, um, this week was a blessing for everything this week. Um, my students was wonderful. Um, you know, we didn't do too much. You know, I um, had them in the classroom doing everything they're supposed to do. And I really, really enjoyed this week. Yes, I did. So I'm going to talk about what's coming up. Okay. The fifth annual Black Gala Award, March the 21st, 2020, seven, it's from 7 to 11 p.m. Proud to announce the CEO founder of Woman's Journey to Life will be getting an award from Shay Monroe. She will receive the Empowering Award Ceremony and Networking Event. So, wow. So, definitely um, all the Woman's Journey to Life, y'all know who Shay is. You got to give her a play. Mm -hmm. Come on down. You know, that's the supporter on March, what is it? I think it's March the 5th, is, did I say? On March the 21st. Okay, so come on down and support her. Mm -hmm. So, um, guess who we have today, Sharon? Um, guess who we have here I for our guest today? Who would it be? <laughs> we will have Warren Davies. He's a video, he's a video uh, graphic, and he does Grip TV. That's the name of the company, Grip TV. So we will actually have him come in here. He's going to interview. He's going to interview us, and we're going to interview him. Well, that's going to be an interesting time. Yeah. So go we'll ahead, I'm coming on. Stay. Good morning, good morning, good morning. 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 Dr. Rock. Good morning. And good morning, Miss Pearson. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sharon. So, um, would you guys like to interview me first, or would you like me to interview you first? Why don't you interview me first, if you wish? Oh. Or I can go straight and interview you. I'm yeah, you can tell us what you do first. Let's, let's, let's hear what you do. All right, then, cool. Why don't yes. we do that? Okay. All right, so uh, I'm Warren Davis. I'm the founder and the director of Grip TV. It's a nonprofit 501c3 corporation. Uh, <clears throat> what we do is uh, drug and alcohol recovery. We inspire people to recover. And we also work with children throughout the school systems recreation centers and things like that to prevent them from first-time use. Uh, we do have two television shows. Uh, one is called Grip TV. It okay. comes mm -hmm. on every Sunday yeah. at 1 p.m. Uh, on Comcast and Verizon. Mm -hmm. We get information as we go on. Mm -hmm. And we also have the youth television show, which comes under the Youth Drug Abuse Awareness Project. Wow. That comes <laughs> underneath Grip TV. And uh, that project is youth interviewing mm -hmm. other youth wow. and we teach them how to do the show and uh, how to interview each other mm -hmm. and they talk about questions that are relevant and current to students ages 4 um, through 12. Wow. Well um, what I want to ask is uh, what made you get started in this uh, company for us being um, you know what, what impact you about doing what you do? Well with Grip TV uh, I guess I should I guess I should just go right into the fact that I was on drugs myself uh, for 22 years. Mm -hmm. um, the last seven years of my addiction were for, I mean, was for uh, crack cocaine. 
So in 1993, God moved me out of that type of addiction. And for the last uh, 26 mm -hmm. years, I've been clean and sober. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Amen to that. Yes. And so um, I had a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to um, uh, use a video camera. Yeah. And I used to be um, the videographer and the cameraman for the Trudy Haynes show mm -hmm. and for uh, Franchise Live TV featuring Ronnie Ron. Yes. Uh, franchise forever. And, um, and so I decided to put together my own show, which, um, which meshed Narcotics Anonymous with the church. Mm -hmm. So I started to teach the biblical 12 steps mm -hmm. of recovery because that's how I recovered. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so GRIP TV, by the way, stands for Gospel um, Recovery mm -hmm. Inspiration Program Television. Yeah. And that's because we believe in recovering everything back that the mm -hmm. devil stole. Yes. Uh, so yes. that's how I got into doing GRIP TV. And Ronnie mm -hmm. Ron and Trudy Haynes helped me a lot with uh, learning how to work the cameras and then wow. putting a show together. And I also took some business uh, entrepreneurial mm -hmm. classes and uh, learned to put my own business together. Wow. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful. Um, so, you know, I just I like the way you said that, where you said you are recovering and, you know, you like to help others and that's why you decided to do it. So, Sharon, do you have any questions for me? Yes. Um, can you tell me um, how long have you been doing this? Like, how long have you been doing this program? Mm -hmm. Okay, so GRIP TV started in 2012. Okay. And um, it started as... Um, just interviewing addicts, okay. mm -hmm. um, people who are actually active addicts, mm -hmm. um, interviewing people who are in recovery, uh, interviewing stewards of recovery minist ministries and churches, yes. uh, interviewing um, owners and, and, and um, operators of mm -hmm. recovery ministries it's themselves. And so in doing so, um, I started to notice a pattern evolve um, of the addicts using mm -hmm. at younger ages. Yeah. And so I started to see a pattern it start to evolve of 8 and 9 mm -hmm. and 10, wow. drinking liquor under the table wow. at parties wow. when the parents weren't yeah. watching, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and then it went to the cigarettes and then it went to the marijuana and then mm -hmm. it just kept on escalating one gateway drug after another. Right. And so that's how the Youth Drug Abuse Awareness Project mm -hmm. uh, came about we decided that we need to, um, instead of just being on the reactionary mm -hmm. end of when somebody is using, we need to start a prevention right. campaign. Yes. And so our prevention campaign now is in, uh, we're in mm -hmm. three schools. We're right. finishing up um, Prince Hall Elementary right now up in mm -hmm. West Oak Lane. We have uh, McCluskey and, uh, and Edmond School as well. We do some mm -hmm. work up in Winfield. Wow. Uh, some of the other uh, schools were, okay. were working, trying to get inside of Gompers, Man mm -hmm. Mastery, okay. stuff like that. And uh, <clears throat> as far as with the children, um, we noticed that mm -hmm. they're, they're really happy with doing their own show. Yeah. So that's yeah. how we got started in the school. So we do that. We also have a 65-page mm -hmm. drug abuse coloring book for oh, kids. Wow. And what we do with that is we go into the recreation centers mm -hmm. and uh, we... we, um, we go through the whole book with the kids, maybe 40 kids at a time. Mm -hmm. We provide the books and things like that. And then we give the kids a sheet of paper mm -hmm. for them to uh, draw something. Yes. After I speak, I'll come up and I'll speak and I'll tell them pretty much what I'm telling you right. about drugs and alcohol okay. and my experience with it. And then mm -hmm. we have them draw what they think they heard mm -hmm. or what they saw <coughs> in the book. Right. And then we take their drawings and we take them to the printer yes. and we have the entire packet cre mm -hmm. um, created into another coloring book oh, wow. of wow. anti-drug messages oh, that That's they have created wow. and then we bring the books back awesome. to the class awesome. and we give the books to the children to take home yeah. along with some crayons. I love that. I mean, I love that. <laughs> yes. Children mm -hmm. like to see their own creations you yeah. know, to be able to see that, look, I created something that it's not just somebody else, like, right. I can do this, you know? I don't have yeah, to be like a superstar, yeah. I can just do this. Absolutely. And that's Absolutely. wonderful, because I always tell the kids, you know, you have a gift. Because a lot of them in my classroom, they have a gift, they draw, you know. And I say, you know what, you can be an artist. 
Just put your mind to it. Absolutely. Oh, oh no, I can't. No, I can't. Yes, you can. You can be an artist. Just put your mind to it. So they um. So now I see that they, you know, um, drawing all, every time they want to draw something. Can I draw this? Can I do that? I would like to do that. Can I draw you, Dr. Conti? You know. So that's just fun. Absolutely. And they, they're wonderful. I really enjoy looking at, you know, listening to them and what they want to do. But, but you know, it's also interesting that a lot of those mm -hmm. children can relate yeah. to what they're drawing because yeah, they're right. actually going through that at home. Mm -hmm. Because oh, yeah. I work in a yeah. school, mm -hmm. I'm not going to name it, but <laughs> you, you, yeah. you see it. The parents, you mm -hmm. know, are in, you know, addictions and etc. Mm -hmm. and the children's behavior you right. a lot of time reflect on that. So this mm -hmm. is something good that yeah. you know that they can be involved in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You heard well you know what one of the things that I really like about um, the coloring book program mm -hmm. um, that's called mm -hmm. The Color of My Future program. Uh, I like mm -hmm. that. The Color of My Future. Mm -hmm. And what I like about it the most mm -hmm. is that when the, when we get the drawings back from the children, yeah. we have to edit the drawings. <laughs> because sometimes the drawings Excuse are me, but we have a call. Okay. Call on Philly Out Radio. Call her. Philly Out Radio. I'm sorry. Call back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the kids will draw mm -hmm. things that I never mentioned. Yes. Right. And aren't in the book. Right. So wow. if they draw a pack of cigarettes, mm -hmm. they'll actually put the word Newport on, on the, the cigarette. The right. Or they'll put a wow. party. Mm -hmm. the bottle, bottle, right? I never mentioned any brand names. Yes, right. You know, and one kid, you know, we had to edit his because mm -hmm. he actually put his father's name. Hey, oh wow! Yeah. Would you please stop doing this? Yeah. Stop doing that. <laughs> we had to oh, edit wow. that out, and you know, before we yeah. could really publish, publish yeah, it. Yeah, but but the kids, like, yeah. just to pay back on what you were yeah. saying, the kids are experiencing mm -hmm. this, and so it's you know. Age eight, age nine, yes. they're yes. starting with drugs now. And you know, because the kids are part of our environment, you know, Absolutely. part of the environment. So if they see things, they want to talk about it. Right. Kids are honest, yeah. you know, kids are honest. And if they if they don't talk about it, they might want to draw. Sometimes they draw what they feel. Right. Absolutely. You have to really check, you know, just listen to the children because a lot of them are going through a lot of anger issues. A lot of stuff that's going on. So what they have to do, sometimes they just put it through drawing, you know, drawing yeah. different pictures. Yeah. Because I noticed that with my students, you know. Yeah. So they have to have some outlet for expression. Yeah. And so we yes. give that to them. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And like you were saying that people may may not believe it, but mm -hmm. children are doing things like that as young yeah. as eight and nine. Because I remember, you know, people doing things like that, thinking mm -hmm. it's cute. Like, oh, little Johnny. Drink mommies, you know, chin off the thing. Oh, that's so cute. But not knowing, hey, little Johnny might have did it by mistake, but little Johnny, like, <clears throat> got the taste on. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's not like it was a little one time thing for little Johnny. Yeah. So, it might, it started from beer, mm -hmm. then it graduated up to liquor, then that wasn't enough, then it <laughs> cigarettes, you know, and then weed, and then whatever. So, mm -hmm. that's, that's real. And so yeah. you think is you might not yeah. be able to stop. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's the danger right. in it, and mm -hmm. that's the message that I give to the yeah. kids. You might not is, be able Don't take the crapshoot mm -hmm. way out. You may think it's cool right now that you're mm -hmm. getting away with it and parents mm -hmm. ain't catching you on stuff, but <laughs> you don't know if you're an addict or not yes. until you try to stop. Mm -hmm. Right, exactly. And when you try mm -hmm. to stop and you find out that now you can't, Mm -hmm. Now you know that you're a full, uh, right. full fledged addict. Yes. Right. And that by that time it's too late. Right. So mm -hmm. we want the kids not yeah. to try. So we also do PSAs, public service announcements okay. for the kids. So we do 30 second commercials mm -hmm. where they talk about how drugs and alcohol wow. can um, destroy mm -hmm. their goals and dreams. Right. And we, we deal with risky behaviors mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. versus ideal futures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, um, I see you have two shirts here. I do. So could you tell me what these two shirts are for? I do have two shirts. So okay. yes. these shirts, believe it or not, um, so this one, it says Winfieldian. Oh, oh, Winfield. Yeah. So, so are you grew up in Winfield? Did you grow up in Winfield? I grew up in Winfield. Oh, so you told me you are Winfield for life? Are you uh, Winfield for life. <laughs> actually, yes. actually, I, um, Mm -hmm. I designed the Winfield for Life logo. You did? Okay. And I'm the designer of that. And, uh, yeah. So I designed these shirts. Mm -hmm. So these shirts I are made it. by Pachaz.com. Mm -hmm. It's a website on each shirt. Wow. Each shirt is handmade. I make mm -hmm. them myself. Mm -hmm. 
each shirt, just like the script TV shirts. Mm -hmm. So my other company, Pachaz.com, yeah. which is spelled P E A C H Z mm -hmm. yeah. A Z Z dot com, and I'll put that on the screen. Okay. Um, we make these shirts mm -hmm. as we're not really a t-shirt manufacturer. Right. I'm a craftsman. <laughs> okay. I'm an artist. Yes. So what we make mm -hmm. are um, we make um, glasses. Wow. Wine glasses, oh, and we wow. put the logos on them for you. Mm -hmm. So we make party favors. Mm -hmm. We put your picture on okay. canvas. Well, excuse me, I think we have a caller. Mm -hmm. Caller, Silly Hot Radio. Caller, you have a question? You have a question? Cause they're wonderful. I love red. Red is my favorite color. And also it was Valentine. Yesterday was Valentine. So guess what? Red is in. Red is what, what you want to wear, right? Well, yeah. I, well, I guess I'm the, I'm the minority because I'm not from. Well, I'm not from. Um, that's Red okay. Field. I'm from West Side. But that's okay because you. Well, we West Side. West Side for life. Okay, well that's fine. But you went to Overbrook too, right? Yes, I did. So I went mostly to everybody from Winfield went to Overbrook. So guess what? You're still part of us. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you could say yes. that. Yes. So, um, so Warren, we really appreciate you. Um, definitely, you know, what you talked about. And hopefully um, people would listen and call in and mm -hmm. talk and ask questions. Um, anybody try to call? I'm not sure why we didn't hear you, but you can try again, see what's going on with the phone. But I'm sure that we we'll answer your calls. So mm -hmm. call on, call up. But thank you so much that you know what you You're welcome. You know, Thanks yeah. for having me. Yes, I'm glad you came yeah. in. The I'm, I'm also a videographer. Mm -hmm. so oh, okay. I'm a wedding videographer and, oh. and a photographer as well. Great. And I just have one quick mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Sure. Warren, mm -hmm. can you tell the people how can they find out yes. more about you mm -hmm. and your program? Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, 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 so uh as Philly Cam comes on TV mm -hmm. on Comcast and Verizon every Sunday at mm -hmm. 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. on Comcast channels 66 and 966, which is also Xfinity, mm -hmm. and also on Verizon Files 29 and 30. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same mm -hmm. time, every Sunday, you can watch us online if you don't have local cable. Okay. You can watch us online on uh, www.phillycam.com. Mm -hmm dot org slash watch that's okay. Philly Cam's web channel so that goes around the world mm -hmm. every okay. Sunday as well now after the first showing each month on that Monday mm -hmm. you can go to my website okay. www.gripgriptv.net and you can watch the show on there 24 and 7 and you can go to my archives mm -hmm. and watch previous shows that we've put up actually this month mm -hmm. coming up March Marks our 50th episode. Oh, wow. wow. And uh, we're real proud of that. So well, I, I love episode. your shirt, Grip TV. I thank like you, it. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. You can also thank watch you. it on our YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, you can just go to Warren Davis and you go to DAP TV. Mm -hmm. And we're on Facebook all the time if you want to contact me there. Warren Davis, a lot of people know it already, but you'll see me there. Okay. Right. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, Thank you. So uh, Warren has, um, what he had is uh, questions to interview. Myself right. and Sharon. So we are. We definitely want you to listen to his questions, and we definitely be interviewing with Warren Davis. Okay, so here we go. So this is a joint interview. This yes. has never been done before. Okay. Okay. We're going to do it for the first time. <laughs> yes. All right. So this is Philly Hot Radio, as yes. you can see. I'm Warren Davis, and I'm here, of course, you know, with Dr. Roxanne Conte. Yes who is also known as Dr. Rock, mm -hmm. and Sharon Pearson, yes. who is a co-host and <laughs> of the show today. All right, so Missing is um, is a good friend of mine, mm -hmm. Showtime the High Man. Uh, we grew up yes. together in Winfield, and he's been on my show before, and now I have a chance to come on your show. He's not here today, mm -hmm. but we have um, an able person, yes. Sharon Pearson. We're going to interview her instead. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so first, I'm going to go with Dr. Rock. Yes. So Dr. Rock, now, yes. so... I, I, I put my questions down on right and on paper. Yes. 
So no that problem. I will stay focused yes. and not waste too much yeah. time. <laughs> All right, yes. here we go. Okay, so Dr. Rock, you are a retired special education teacher from the Philadelphia School District, mm -hmm. 33 and a half years. You work for Criminal Justice Act Legal Services. You're a model and actress. And you're an author of the book designed to decrease aggressive behavior yes. on the part of students in the classroom, which I found very impressive. Yeah. Uh, yes. How have these mm -hmm. experiences helped mold and shape you into the radio personality that you are today? Give us a little background. Okay, well, I'm going to give you a little background. When I was coming up as a child, I was very shy. I didn't want to talk to no one. My mom told me, oh, you were so shy. Oh my God, we couldn't get a word out you. What? And I understood that. I know what she said, because I was shy. I didn't want to go. She said, okay, here's somebody to talk. And I would not talk. <laughs> I just was very shy. So I went to her classroom one day, visit my mom, because she was a teacher. I went to go visit her classroom, and I told the kids, you know, my mom told you to sit down. I was disciplining the kids. So then I said to the children, what did my mother say? So I was talking to them, so I said, to, that's what made me want to become a teacher. Okay. Because I know with teaching, you're talking all the time. You know, you're always, you know, teaching and educating children and you're talking most of the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I, when I went to visit, I definitely became a teacher. And then I decided to go to modeling acting school. Okay. So I became an actor. And then, you know, definitely do a lot of talking as a, being an actor. Mm -hmm. And and then I had to do a lot of events and presentations. Mm -hmm. So that made me mold me into more talker to be talkative. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was very shy, but I'm not shy no more now. I can't, you can't shut me up. You can't <laughs> shut me up now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and I like different topics and different things to talk about. So you know that's that's really you know. One thing I learned about you in my research uh, on you was that you mm -hmm. love teaching. Yes. You love being a teacher. Yes. And. Um, that book that you wrote mm -hmm. about, um, exactly. let me just say this first, folks. Dr. Rock has it labeled doctor in front of her name, not yes. just because uh, that just sounds cool. <laughs> yeah. she, you know, anything rocking yes. is cool. But yes. this doctor <laughs> has an actual, she has a bachelor degree, she mm -hmm. has a master's mm -hmm. degree, and she has a doctor degree in yes. education. So this book that she wrote deals with classroom mm -hmm. management yes, and behavior in the classroom. Actually, I think it's come out in 2010, 2011, around that area. So mm -hmm. this was before all the hype about bullying. Yes. But that's exactly what she was teaching people yes. how to stop way before bullying. it became so known. Yeah, and also, it's not just for um, how to deal with the kids in classrooms, how to for discipline. It's also for parenting. Okay. You know, parents. Sometimes it's hard for us. We might not realize how we raising our kids, and other people will see. The difference in it, so it helps you help other parents and stuff how to raise their children right. on a good and positive level. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and so I'm going to put the yeah. the, the name of that book mm -hmm. on um, on the show so that you can go and get it. It's only yeah. like fifteen dollars, exactly. eighty pages. Yes. You can go and get it on Amazon, <laughs> yeah. and you can go and get it at Barnes and Noble. And Noble. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we're going to put that on my yeah. show and make sure that we have it so people can get a hold of All that right. book. Thank I'm going to get a copy myself because okay. I deal with kid, with kids a lot in yes. the schools, and some right. of them don't want to act right when we're doing the shows. So look, my next question for you is: What particular issues concern you the most on local on a local? community level, because our politics mm -hmm. are local, it always right. comes back home right. on a local level, and what do you think needs to be done to solve some of those issues? Well, first of all, put the guns down. Mm -hmm. I believe the violence, violence is very, is getting more and more, more children are leaving here at age 21, 30s, you know, to me that, that's the problem. Mm -hmm. And I believe that the community needs to come together to help these children get involved to show more love towards one another. Well, more so the guys, um, they want to kill each other and you can't even step on, so you step on the feet, they want to kill you because you stepped on my feet. I mean, like little things happen with these children, you know, out there. And I really think that it should be some workshops, maybe to help these children um, to solve um, their problems because a lot of them don't have things out there. And that's what the problem is. The, the society set them up for failure. What they need to do is help these children to build on, you know, something that make them show more unity, mm -hmm. more love mm -hmm. towards each other. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. So to me, that's a big factor, violence. Mm -hmm. You know, because I would love, if I can 
Mm -hmm. Help the world, help out. I would love to let them know, get these children help. Help them out. Don't just push them to the side. Some parents, they have parents sometimes, they don't have any patience for the kids. So, you know, that's why you need society to help out. Do you? That's, mm -hmm. that's, you know, that, that, that is a wonderful uh, yeah. uh, synopsis mm -hmm. of, of, of that question and answer. Do you think drugs and alcohol oh, plays yes. a big role in the violence? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Because um, I believe that that's why even with the drugs and, and I always tell you know, my students or I just tell kids, I told my son, when you see people coming to you with any drug, you run. You get away from them because if you don't, you know, you'll wind up, you know, with drugs. And that sometimes because the drug will make you out there and do things that you don't want to do. You go out there and rob someone. Mm -hmm. You go out there and um, take, you know, just, just do crazy things. Yeah, you do that things crazy, that you would normally that, do. That normally, yes, mm -hmm. things that you would never normally do. Yeah. Like even fights and fights. Oh yes, and that's why I like, that's why I said put down the guns because the back in the day, I'm sure you remember, fair one was a fair one. That's right. Okay. That's right. Fair one was a fair one. Then you get up the next day, and it's okay. Then you be friends again. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's right. But it's not like that. That's right. It's not like that. Respect each other. Right. right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not like that no more. Now it's like okay, well. No, I mean, I'm well, gonna shoot that person. I mean, final. that's crazy, yes. It's like, it's like these kids are in there playing these video games right. with the shooting, mm -hmm. but the person comes back alive, and you can right. shoot it again right. and go to the next yes. level, but it's not true in real life. No. That's what they're not understanding that. Yes. And, and it's yes. final, and you're going to jail for it, and, yes. you're, and you're creating death in mm -hmm. people's families and stuff. Yeah. Well, see, that's it, you know. Um, but I really believe that. I think if society come together as a unit, and as, I think things can change. Change, you know, and also our politics, politicians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> did I say something wrong? I didn't say nothing wrong, did I? Right. Okay, our politicians. You start now. We have to, we have to help these children. We have to do something to get them away from all the negative stuff. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're in office now. Everyone's in office. Yeah, we voted, mm -hmm. but guess what? Let's stop talking it. Let's be about it. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's stop talking with, just be about it. And let's stop the and follow let's stop, Yes. Not yes. follow up. Oh, yes. You say you're going to do this, mm -hmm. but it's, it should be promises made, yes. promises kept. Mm -hmm. But instead, it's promises made, promises unkept. Yes. And the society just gets worse. Yes, yeah, society yeah. just gets worse. And I believe it's going to, um, I, you know, I just, and also, you know what else I believe? Prayer. When they oh, took prayer out of schools. One, big one, yeah. And they took prayer out of schools. It, the things had changed so much, you know, because, you know, like I said, we don't talk, you know, they say you can't have prayer in schools anymore. Okay, that's fine. But my thing is, when you took them to prayer out, you see a difference mm -hmm. in the children. Mm -hmm. You do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I guess, um, so I guess my, my next question for you would be, mm -hmm. what's next for Dr. Rock? What, oh, what okay. are some of your <laughs> dreams and goals that you haven't reached yet and that you plan to reach? Okay, my dream was to actually open a school, a vocational school. Okay. The reason why I say vocational school is because a lot of kids will graduate with, um, and don't know how to do a resume. Okay. They'll graduate and don't know any, don't, they don't have any uh, kind of um, thing where they can know how to work a machine, you know, different things. Uh, skills. skills, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You said the word, thank you. Mm -hmm. They don't have too many skills and they can't, they don't know how to work, you know, different things. They go on the job and they wouldn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I believe one day, in God's will, that I will open my school. That was my dream. Mm -hmm. But guess what? My dream is still there. Mm -hmm. But I went into a lot of other stuff like mm -hmm. being a radio personality, <laughs> being an actor, being mm -hmm. a model. So I have a lot of things going on right now, but I believe someday that's going to come into play because I'm about to, definitely Absolutely. about to. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and, and that will manifest for you yes. because it's already in your destiny right. to be that. Being mm -hmm. the amount of years that you were a teacher, right. you love teaching and you love being, love the whole school environment. Yes. But when I read um, on your, I think I read on. Mm -hmm. When you um, 
when you first published your book and you were talking about your background, you said you noticed your love for school at an early yes. age. Yes. And after that discovery, they nurtured me through education, motivation, mm -hmm. which translated to academic success. Mm -hmm. I discovered that I love school at all, mm -hmm. you said, the activities that play, yeah. take place in that environment. So I think that one day for sure, you know, whatever you have on your mind, mm -hmm. you know, God says, I'm going to give you the desires of your yes. heart. Yes, yes. Uh, if that's a deep down desire yeah. of your heart, that's got to manifest. Right? Oh yes, it's going to, you know, I, you know, I claimed it already because I know it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. It's just because I believe, you know, children are our future. And if people don't understand that, these children now that's growing up, they're our future. And that's why we have to motivate them to do the right thing now while they're young. And I tell the kids in elementary school, they're thinking their, their mark's not important. They're very important. Absolutely. It starts from elementary. <laughs> the middle school, they say, oh, you know, when I get to high school, I might have better marks. No, your marks start in elementary school. Mm -hmm. And I try to explain that to the children. Look, yes. Those, those transcripts. Yes, it does. They it's follow, very important. Especially they when follow. you try to get in college with all the oh, tattoos yes. on your face. You can't even get a D. <laughs> you know what? A D will not get you in college. And yeah. I tell him, I tell my son the same thing. Yeah. I say, you think you're going to get a D? <laughs> it can't get you in college. No, no. No, you know, they follow like you that. all they the way. Follow you all, all the way. They the look way. for if you're involved in community mm -hmm. activities, yes. what you do in your extracurricular mm -hmm. time, you know yes. what I mean, your free time. And then they look at your criminal record yes. and all that kind of stuff. And, well, see, that's yeah. that's the problem, you know. Yeah. Um, that's why you know, to mold the kids, you got to let them know right now what's going on. You know, because you have people... You know, pulling tech, pulling you one side to another side. Oh, it's okay to do certain things. And the kids, their minds is like, okay, well, the duck's supposed to be right. But well, who's right? Mm -hmm. This duck or that duck? Mm -hmm. so, That's very know. interesting. Very interesting yes. synopsis. Yes. Thank you so much. No, thank I you for that. interviewing well, me. Well, we wanted to bring out the best and see what yes. we can find. Yes. Now we're yes. going to switch over here to yes. Sharon Pearson. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to talk Sharon. with her. Right. Okay. Sharon, let me see what I got on you here. Okay, All right, so we got it. Let's Come see. On. Sharon, you are currently working with the federal government and the Philadelphia School District. Yes. You're an actress, you're a travel agent, and a substitute co-host for this program, Whistle While You Work. Yes. You have loads of live videos, some of which I previewed and I loved them, mm -hmm. on yeah. Facebook. Yeah. Yes. Um, and you love doing the uh, man on the street, which yeah. is the like woman on the street. Yeah. 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 You love doing the woman on the street. Mm -hmm. And so what I wanted to know was with all these different experiences that, um, that, that you have, how did all that come together for you to be the radio personality that we see here today? Okay, well, I'll give you a little bit of, back, a little bit of my background. Yeah, okay. background. When I was younger, like from elementary school, even all the way up to high school, um, I was bullied, like, I mean, horrifically, horrendously. I, I'm not even going to go into detail. It was just, like, really, really bad. So, um, a lot of times, I um, I kept to myself. I wanted to be a part of certain activities, but I really didn't because, you know, I was fearful. So, as I got older, I decided, I said, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be me, I'm gonna mm -hmm. do me. Because a lot of times there were things that I wanted to do, that I wanted to be a part of, but because of fear, I, I didn't do it because mm -hmm. of, you know, I thought people were gonna say things. And so now, I, it's like I don't, I, like I, I really don't care. It mm -hmm. seems like mm -hmm. I had an epiphany, I don't know why, when I turned 50, and I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna do me, I'm gonna go places, by myself, um, I'm gonna do things by myself. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna travel by myself if no one wants to go with me. Mm -hmm. And you know, so um, yeah, that's part of it. And I'm, I like to have fun. As you can see, like you saw my some of my mm -hmm. videos, I, mm -hmm. I enjoy having fun. I enjoy making people laugh. Mm -hmm. And so if I can make somebody laugh, then mm -hmm. I, you know, I think I've you know, done my mission in life. You know, so very interesting. Yeah. Very, inter very interesting. Very nice. You know what I yes. find also very interesting is is the con the stark mm -hmm. contrast between being bullied and the fear and the um, the epiphany mm -hmm. at age fifty, where now you really don't care what mm -hmm. people think. Right. Because I was watching one of those Dunkin' Donuts <laughs> videos that you did with yeah. the um, 
<laughs> Why Dunkin' Donuts got this yes. got this Valentine's Day donut out in January? Oh like, yeah, yeah. And I was just cracking up. I was, <laughs> yeah, that's so right. Like you know, like can we at least get another month right. before you yes. put these out? Yeah, stuff? Yeah. And I saw that you like to do the videos like that, and I thought that was that was really well because what I saw was mm -hmm. and what I see in both of you is you don't have stage fright. You can't be an actress and right. have stage fright. No, right. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. you might people might think that I don't. But I mean, I handle it. They're like, "Oh, I see you out there. You doing this? You doing that?" Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, inside, I'm just like, "Okay." <laughs> like I, I, I really do. And people like they yes. can't believe it. Like for example, yes. like even in the plays that I've been in at my church, mm -hmm. like I don't, like I told you, I've been in, um, gosh, in plays for my church since the pretty much since the time I joined in 1994. And people are like, oh, you don't know, look like you're nervous. Let me tell you, every time before I go on stage, mm -hmm. I'm nervous, especially on live. Right. Because people don't realize there's no editing mm -hmm. when you're on live. Yes. Yes. It right. is what it is. Yes. So, mm -hmm. you know, if something goes wacky, it's like, oh, you know, so, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting yes. that you still have that stage, right? Because, you know, like, like, mm -hmm. so I'm on camera now. Mm -hmm. I usually don't go live right. mm -hmm. because my whole show mm -hmm. is edited. Mm -hmm. okay. And I like to be able to take out things that, you know, mm -hmm. so so I don't win shows. Like, I don't just come off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. I have my questions written down right. yes. because, you know, like, even though I believe that God will tell me exactly what to say at the mm -hmm. right time, yeah. sometimes the spirit is always operable and mm -hmm. operating in me. But I'm not always operating right. in the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> so therefore, something dumb going to come out of my mouth. Yeah. And so I've learned to edit yes. my whole show. Right. And so when I go live like this, mm -hmm. you know, I'm a little nervous too. Yeah. Right? You know, but I know that God got my back. It's a normal and, thing. And when you have a, a conversation yeah. like this, yes. and we control everything, you know, especially the editing mm -hmm. and all that, then, mm -hmm. then I, I like it a lot better. It's right. a lot more comfortable for well, conversation. Too. Yes. Well, like the scripture says, you know, things are to be done in decency. And in order, right. and I get get so if certain things things aren't a certain way. Yeah, I know sometimes some of my coworkers they're like, "Calm down, relax." <laughs> I'm like, "No, if it's supposed to be done this way, let's do it this way. It's yes. an orderly way." Mm -hmm. So sometimes you have to put us, you have to put your feelings aside, yeah, yeah, and agree. have to do what's the right thing to do. Right. Yeah. No, I might not want to do it. But it's like that's the orderly way, mm -hmm. so it needs to be done. Absolutely, yes. absolutely. So, yeah. So okay. you are an an Overbrook High School class of eighty one graduate. Woohoo! Yes, I am. <laughs> Shout out to class of eighty one. Right. right. Um, you also reside in West Philadelphia, and you are a member of the Christian Stronghold Baptist Church, which you mentioned, yes. which is founded by the Reverend Dr. Willie Richardson. You want to give him uh, a shout out? Ooh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> pastor in the world. I'm yes. sorry, there's a lot of good churches, a lot of good pastors, but I love my pastor. Right. I think he's the best. <laughs> well, there you go. Wonderful. No, nah, no, nah, nah, you can't beat that. <laughs> what one particular issue in this in this community, being you know you're in West Philly, you're a Christian stronghold, uh, you 81 graduate Overbrook, mm -hmm. so you know the issues that are facing the community. Yeah. Which, if you could pick out one particular issue in the community that concerns you the most, and what would you propose mm -hmm. to try mm -hmm. to solve it? Okay, I like to. If you go on my Facebook page, sometimes you'll notice I'll have a word of the day. My word of the day is. Okay, I feel as though there's a lot of apathy in the community where people are like, it's not my problem, not my monkeys, not my circus. Mm -hmm. And I feel as though people need to get more involved, especially the parents. Mm -hmm. um, also for a school, mm -hmm. because a lot of times people want to, you know, criticize the teachers mm -hmm. and paraprofessionals and mm -hmm. things like that. But it's a, um, it's a joint effort. Right. You know, we can only take children so far, so I think people need to come to uh, school meetings, um, PTA, mm -hmm. any kind of community, you know, workshop mm -hmm. that's available. People need to get involved, mm -hmm. you know. I agree with that. I agree with that. Help be a part of the solution, mm -hmm. not the problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, um, apathy, I, I, mm -hmm. I agree, is mm -hmm. a 
huge problem yes. in the community because yes, people um, will not come out and sweep their block. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll let someone else go out yes. and do it. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. that person that's doing the block, so there's a block captain or something like that. Mm -hmm. If the block captain gets over on their property mm -hmm. and cleans it too much, yes. they're like, mind your business. <laughs> right. We'll throw our trash where we want to throw yes. it. You know, and um, then they'll start to talk about mm -hmm. the person that actually is mm -hmm. doing or trying to do the work. Yes, exactly. and, and, and that's exactly. all a big part of apathy mm -hmm. because because after you have the apathy, then you have the people who, who don't care about mm -hmm. who's, who is trying to help. Right. right. And it just gets worse and worse with the apathy. I agree with that. Those, those are, that's a major mm -hmm. oh, problem. Definitely. Major problem. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. So um, what would you do to solve that? Well, what I would do to try to solve it is any kind of um, workshop or community meeting. I would invite people out. Um, I would share information, you know, and tell them about it. Um, you know, tell them to get involved in the. Um, I know involved. a lot of times people don't want to get involved in politics, right. but people need to get involved in politics right. and. Yes you know get information and yeah. if i didn't work for the federal government i probably would be able to i would like be um involved in politics in some mm -hmm. way but because of it's an act called the hatch act right i'm not, not allowed right. to mm -hmm. you know in the federal government to mm -hmm. get involved you know mm -hmm. i have to be bipartisan so right. i understand that Very but good. i can still give out the information yes. absolutely absolutely yes. well as quick tv has been a non-profit father mm -hmm. must see three we're not allowed to participate or endorse any candidates right. okay. through our show you yes. know now who i who i do myself yeah. you know right. endorse or don't endorse mm -hmm. that's something different right but right. Uh, but i get real involved in the community Mm -hmm. I'm very involved. Um, I don't run. I'm not a public official, elected official, mm -hmm. and I would never run for to be one because it's just not right. what I do. Right. But I'm very involved in the community, such as the Winfield reunion, mm -hmm. okay. such as um, just trying. To, um, right now, I'm spearheading the campaign to mm -hmm. get uh, uh, um, the Winfield Recreation Center built. Okay. You nice. know, and stuff like that. So I'm always a nag. To the, to the well, let me say this. Shout out to Winfield. Winfield, I hope they're looking. I hope you're looking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout you out. Get <laughs> but, but you yes. have to go knock on the door mm -hmm. of the politicians right. and the elected official and just try to, the promises that you made, can right. you keep it? Right. And the yeah. people need to come out. You know, really, people just need to come out of their houses and get mm -hmm. involved. Right. Block parties yes. are good. Yes. Oh, yes. That kind of helps people yeah. to come out and get to know each mm -hmm. other. Yeah. So, so what's next for Sharon Pe Pe Pearson? What are some of your unfulfilled goals and dreams? Well, one of my unfulfilled goals is to see my name in lights. Hmm. Like, you know, okay. remember the TV show Fame, remember my name, Thank you. remember, yeah. remember, remember. Yes. So, yes. Um, I'm working hard towards that goal. Mm -hmm. I truly believe that one day you're going to see my name and lights yes okay. i do believe that um Morning. like i said i'm working towards that um and that's a fulfilled goal okay all right yeah. wonderful, all right. wonderful and uh, i can believe that's going to happen because mm -hmm. when i was watching those youtube live videos <laughs> i saw you had the little earphones in. oh you saw that i hate yeah. that okay yeah, i was watching she had the little earphones <laughs> in and she walked up to people and asked them the, the funniest one was <laughs> when they reopened <laughs> The uh, dollar the store. Dollar, oh, you saw that? And you and you was crying about the dollar store. Oh yeah. You know, you were like, you know, and you was like, oh, the dollar store is back oh. open. Oh, I'm so emotional. And then you were interviewed the other young lady about the dollar yeah, store, the dollar and she was crying about, oh, 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 yeah. I'm so emotional. I can't do this. Yeah. I thought that was so funny, and so I said that not only is she, she, she not only yeah. is she good on camera, but she's also funny. Yeah. And so God bless her. That's not the one. She's comedian. She actually. I cried myself up. Absolutely. Very funny, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So, um, so that's basically mm -hmm. the last things I have to ask you. What what I do need for uh, my show is for you guys to give us the contact information okay. sure. of how people can watch you, when yes. they can watch you, Facebook, mm -hmm. um, YouTube, the works. Just okay. give that yes. out right now. <laughs> Whistle why you work. Yeah, whistle why you work. Yeah, just, I know whistle why you work, but it's Philly Hot Radio. Whistle why you work, mm -hmm. but they can also that's you know the www.phillyhotradio.com. Okay, that's yeah, it. That that's up there. Okay. PhillyHotRadio.com. Right here. Mm -hmm. PhillyHotRadio.com. Yes. Okay. And um, 
Okay. And how, how, how do people watch you? Yes. On Saturday oh, they can watch me on Facebook Live. Uh, the Rock, mm -hmm. uh, I'm on the Facebook Live. And also, we have a page, a, a Whistle While You Work page. They can watch me on that. And also, YouTube. Okay. They can watch me on YouTube. So, how do they watch you on YouTube is your fully. live? Oh, my live is on. Um, they can go on my live, Roxanne. It's under Roxanne Conti for Facebook. Okay. Uh, the, uh, www. Uh, Roxanne Conti Facebook. Okay. But actually, you know, usually my everyone that's on Facebook, they usually listen to me live or, or definitely for YouTube. Okay. You know, for, and they can go on YouTube. So that's 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. Every go, morning at 10 a.m. go to this website as well. Yeah, yeah www.phillyradio.com. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. All right. That's right. Everybody, everybody just jumped out behind me. Yes. I just called up. I've been trying to get through. I think that the phones are off the hook, so it's hard to get through. Oh. But hit the show behind me. Yes. I just wanted to know that Dr. Rock and Sharon and those who are there, I'm sorry I couldn't be there. I had a strict obligation in Atlantic City. We're going home along with Johnny Gill. My God, my. We're going home with Strokey. Yes. <laughs> I just want to say once again, you can catch us on phillyhotradio.com, yes. 10 a.m. every Saturday morning yes. with Dr. Rock and Mikkel, the Hype Man Showtime. That's every yes. Saturday, phillyhotradio.com and on YouTube. And check out Dr. Yes. Rock, yes. Roxanne Conti yes. live. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna thank yes. you guys. Thank you for letting me yes. interview you. Yes. Yes. I appreciate yes. that. Thank, my, you. And my, well, thank you for letting us interview you. My folks you. on Grip TV. Yes. Look, this is the first time we did a joint interview. Mm -hmm. It was one yes. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Yes. Look, thank God you. bless both of y'all. I'm too. gonna go over here now and I'm yes. gonna sit in the audience. Okay. And I'm gonna watch. No, we really up appreciate next. you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. You're welcome. All right. We back. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we have radio. We're so why you work. So, show, so, Sharon, yes. was that a good interview? That oh my was God, thanks awesome. for that interview. Wow. Wow. Um, Warren Davis, he did that interview. I really enjoyed that. Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think as um, far as the questions and stuff that he asked? All the questions he asked about it. I thought it was very good. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we got a, uh, I had got a better understanding of what GRIP mm -hmm. TV yeah. is and what it's yeah. about. Yes, yeah. same with me. I really enjoyed it. You know, I mean, it's just, just to have him come in and interview us and then we interviewed him. I just thought it was wonderful. So, definitely. And I thank you, Chandra, definitely for being here. And we do miss you, Showtime. We want you to hear us out there. We miss you. All right. From Philly Hot Radio, Whistle While You Work. So now, we're trying to set up for, um, we have an artist here, so we're trying to set up now, so you can uh, hear the artist saying his name is Show, actually, his name is Showtime. Show? His wow. name is Showtime. Wow. <laughs> well, we have another Showtime. Yes, so we will nice. have him, you know, shortly, he will be setting up, so you can hear what's going on with him. So, <clears throat> so Sharon, um, what can you, you know, for this week you said that you had, Oh, uh, one day week was good. You said you wasn't feeling good. I'm glad you came out. No, I'm you. so glad you came out because you told me you wasn't feeling good at all. Well, actually, um, a mm -hmm. little under the weather, mm -hmm. but um, I'm I've been taking all kinds of stuff to try to feel better. Um, I took there's like this little um instant um immunity boost shot I took yesterday okay. that actually helped me um, feel better. I think I had I think I drank like about 54 ounces of orange juice. <laughs> uh, probably ate about 2550 wow. hauls. Um, so I'm just been trying to you know 
get better, but mm -hmm. I have some prior commitments that I really can't mm -hmm. cancel, so I'm really hoping I feel better. As a matter of fact, when I finish um, the radio station, I have um, a short independent film that I'm working on mm -hmm. that I have to finish up today. Right. And also, um, tomorrow I'm doing um, a commercial for a credit card, so I'm just uh, really excited about that. Oh, so. I mean that. So, Sharon and I also did a lot of acting together. Yes, we did. And that's how I met Sharon going to, you know, when she was in acting. <laughs> we was going for a movie that we were in, and I met Sharon then. And I'm the type of person that I always like to help others. So, uh, she needed a ride, and I said, look, you need a ride? You know, I just took her, and I didn't even know her from nothing. I didn't even know Sharon at all. So, from I'm like, a a from a can. Yes, because you know the day you can't do that, right? Um, you can't do that. You can't put people in your car because you never know how people are. So I'm glad to meet Sharon and now we are became I call her more like a sister to me. Yeah, I'm like family. You're like family because she's really wonderful. And how many years we knew each other now? What you said? Four. Maybe four. Four years. About four years. Four years. Like that. All right. So. Candy Cruz is our his, that's her artist. Candy Cruz her. Let me put him on here. You want to talk? Want to tell us more about you? How you doing? My name's Showtime. I know. Oh, I'm Jersey. Showtime. Wow. Yeah. I'm. It's, it's, it's only one Showtime. Oh. Oh. Listen, oh. it's a Showtime, of course. The, yes. The entertainer. Yeah, the entertainer. Showtime. Mm -hmm. And then there's only one singer Showtime. So okay. That's that's me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And when you say okay. Showtime the singer, that's me. Okay. Showtime the singer. Yeah. There's no discrepancy when they say Showtime the singer. Mm -hmm. right, Everybody man. knows who that is. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Just so we clear. Yeah. Tell it. Man. Yes. So what else you want to know? Okay. So, do you have? Are you? Will you give us a? You know, you want to sing for us? Oh. Oh, is that is that what we're going with? Oh, you want to you want to the music? Yeah, I have music. We got the music. Well, yes. We can do so it. We would like to hear you. All right. Well, all right. We definitely would like to hear. Well, welcome. All right. Now we're ready. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. I 
Sing about love, that's what I like. Sing about love, that's right. Because you know what? That's the best song. Yeah. Um, R&B is the best song. Music for love. Yes. And guess what? This is Valentine's was yesterday, so... Oh, yes. yes. So I'm going to hope everyone was listening. Yeah. But everyone was listening to the music because you know what? It does bring you back into the love. It makes you love your partner even more. And if you're mad with them, listen to, listen to Showtime. Because you would definitely truth. wouldn't be mad anymore. <laughs> yeah, love yes, yes. So we appreciate you coming on. Um, I just wanted to introduce uh, someone sure. who also started. Um, this is her artist. Her name is Candy Cruz. What? Oh, hello, hello, hello. Yes, hello. How are you? Bless, 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 bless. We're we're so glad that you brought your artist in today to listen to his his music is wonderful. I mean he he sang that song. Glad to be here. You see, we was all like thoroughly. So, I, I see you ladies was thoroughly yes, enjoying. We, we enjoyed it. We definitely Absolutely. enjoyed it. Absolutely. So this uh so you want to tell us more about you and as far as um Showtime? Um Showtime and I met um. Mm -hmm. It's been, have we been together two years now? Oh, okay. Well, probably about, yeah, years. like two years. All right. um, currently, he's, mm -hmm. he's getting ready to go on tour. Oh, nice. Um, nice. Um, he'll be, well, he's now, he's at, he's at Kelsey's. Okay. Uh, on the weekend. Um, Tonight, if you, if you can get a reservation. Oh, yeah. so oh, two shows. I think they're we'll sold out. out the show? Oh, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Tonight, or, you know, so well, that's no, but we definitely like to support it. You know, we're 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 absolutely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ladies, for support. Um, yes. Make sure y'all get that love truth album. All right. Out now, and uh, presently working on um, mm -hmm. the new music for the, uh, for this year coming out in March. First mm -hmm. single coming off the new Showtime 2020 album. Okay. Could you tell everyone how to reach you? Yeah, you can reach me. Yes. Facebook and uh, mm -hmm. follow me at Showtime, S H O W space, first name okay. show, last name Time, T Y M E. Mm -hmm. You can follow me on Instagram at Showtime2020, S H O W T Y M E 2020. Mm -hmm. And you can go on the website and follow me, Showtime Online, Showtime with a Y, mm -hmm. online.com, where right. you can find all the Wonderful. updates and uh, all the good music and new, new stuff. And you can subscribe. And, Become a fan and all that good stuff. If you love soul music, you know, if you don't love soul music, I might not be the guy. Yes. <laughs> if you love stuff, that yeah, makes soul you feel, music is you the know, best. Make you feel best. like something, and yes. where you can, you know, feel it in your heart and feel mm -hmm. it in your body and feel it in your spirit, yes. then I'm the guy for you. You might want to mess with me. So, yeah. You know, hey, y'all. Me and you. Can we get some hearts on that? I don't want to go loud, but I couldn't, I couldn't get the internet. You get, I'm trying to get in the way. I'm gonna yeah. share that when I get it. I'm gonna share it. Right. Peace to everybody out there yeah. in Philly Cam world, mm -hmm. right? Philly Cam, right? Yeah. Philly Hot Radio. Philly we Hot out Radio. here. You did. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we got some live I can share. Am I gonna sing some more? Uh, 
Well, we are, um, we went past the time we we had to really yeah, in our time. show, but it's okay right. because it was worth it. You know, you closed the show out and it was worth it listening to you. Oh, and it, it was wonderful. Yes. Yes. Y'all make sure y'all get that uh, Love Truth, which is out right now. Okay. Available everywhere. You can go to Walmart.com. What's it called? It. Love, love truth. truth. Love truth. Yes. Love truth. Some love truth. Cause some love truth. You can love live. You can get on iTunes. You can get on Apple Music. Mm -hmm. You can get on Spotify. You can get on Android. Okay. You can get on Shazam. You can get on Amazon. You can mm -hmm. get on Google. Cool. You can get on Walmart.com, you can get on Target.com, you can get on BarnesandNobles.com, you can get on www.showtimeonline.com. We out there. We got hard copy CDs, we got we got digital copies of the CD. Okay. Whatever you want to do, you can get it. Shout out to Soul Spot, shout out to Cold Rain Records, yes. shout out to all the Showtime fans out there that okay. love Showtime and people that love and follow mm -hmm. me and support me and my thing. Shout out to Candy yes. Cruz, hold it down. And uh, just shout out to all the people out there that, you know, shout out to Casey and JoJo yes. and Josie and Farrell Monch and Big Daddy Kane and all those different artists that I've worked with. Case, mm -hmm. Music Soul Child and Donnell Jones and Kelly Price. Shout out to all of y'all for giving me a platform to be able to do what I'm doing right now. Yes. So I appreciate it. Wow. 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 That, that, it's, it's lighting up on me. I know that's right. <laughs> it's right. 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 So what we will yes. do mm -hmm. is after the tour, I think we're going out in April, okay. we will more than um, mm -hmm. likely, we, we, can, we can do another visit. Okay. Oh, be I guess we'll come back home. Yes. We'll come back. <laughs> we'll come back and, and uh, definitely um, yes. talk about the new single. Uh, yes. 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 And I, I just want to talk proud of you. I'm uh, candy. Proud. Very proud. Like candy. She's doing wonderful things. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Very proud of her. So yeah. y'all yeah. definitely got to come back. Oh. Right. Okay. Shout out to Showtime out there. I know you couldn't be here today, but yeah. uh, you know I know you're here in spirit. But yes. I appreciate that. Thanks for having us, man. Yes. Yeah, shout out to Showtime. Thank you for being yes. here. Oh, wow, well, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. So, um, uh, tune in next week to Philly Hot Radio. Whistle, whistle. So, why you work? Tune in. 10 o'clock. There you go. Bye-bye.